Erica Drogue, <laughs> and uh, this is Dry Hills Distillery. And I'm Jeff Drogue, uh, her better half. <laughs> we are fifth generation uh, potato farmers from, from uh, an area that used to be known as the Dry Hills. And we chose to take those potatoes and, and start making, uh, making a little hooch out of them. We are 100% farm to bottle. Uh, every batch that we do, we're consuming uh, over 6,000 pounds of potatoes per batch. And needless to say, we're, uh, we're running through a few, uh, few potatoes here at Dry Hills. So right now we have um, our hollow top vodka. We call it that because that mountain snow pact is actually what feeds our pivots. It's really the lifeline to the farming up in that area. 100% potato, like Jeff said, we uh, peel and dice them in the back. And then we use that same base for our gin. Uh, the gin has 14 different botanicals, a lot of fresh citrus zest and more uh, floral notes. And then we are working with Flavor Man to construct a raspberry flavored vodka. And we are also working on a mocha cream liqueur and then our wheat whiskey, um, everything again off of our farm. Uh, start raising our own corn, start uh, dabbling with our own rye grains, uh, raising specific uh, grain varieties for making whiskey. So that's been, that's been a lot of fun. So we raise a lot of peas just to help put nitrogen back into the ground. So who knows, maybe we'll come out with a green pea vodka too. <laughs> when it came to actually trying to figure out how we were gonna actually process these potatoes, how are we gonna take a whole potato get it into a mash cooker, where are we gonna get the mash cooker, what kind of stills do we want? That's where I think our, our experience at Moonshine U uh, really shined through. We walked in the door and Jeff was like, we're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Figuring out what it's gonna take, licensing, building, and then to actually be able to take five steps being an active distillery, I mean, there, you know, that, that type of education for me, I'm very hands-on. Working then, with Flavor Man too, understanding um, how to smell out different things, understanding the components of aging, having those connections that we made has definitely changed how we operate our facility here. It truly was quite possibly one of the most significant weeks of my life to look back and, and almost take a deep breath and look at you know, where we were and, and where we are now, it's, it's been a little bit surreal. 